Hello and welcome to our English Easy Practice channel. In this video, we'll be sharing some fun and engaging conversations to help you improve your English skills. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, listening to and repeating these conversations will help you build your vocabulary, improve your pronunciation, and boost your confidence when speaking English. And remember, repetition is key. So be sure to watch this video multiple times and practice saying the phrases out loud. Let's get started. Geez, I can't seem to fit the gym into my schedule anymore. Why? You were going nearly every day. I sure was, but now I picked up some additional work hours and traveling to the gym is getting to be too much for me. I can take you on the way to work, honey. I drive faster than you. It really isn't the drive speed, you know that. Nice try, though. We both know that I'm the speed racer. Why don't you try going after work, then? You are sweet for helping me figure this out. I'm going to change things up and start working out at home. Really? Will your workout be as intense as the one you do at the gym? I believe so. I saw this amazing app on Instagram, which I've been dying to try out. I'm talking about the app with Gabrielle Union. Remember, I did this at-home workout routine years back, and we saw then that working out at home showed great results. I sure do, honey. You were doing yoga with that blonde lady. Denise Austin? I don't remember her name. I just remember you on all fours. That is the downward facing dog pose. It is part of a flowing sequence of poses. Downward dog helps to relieve neck and back tension while improving your body's blood flow. Nice job reminding me. I'll add yoga into my workouts at home. Well, if you are so sure, go for it. The at-home workouts do take less time because you cut out the traveling time to and from the gym. Exactly. You also know that great fitness isn't only from the workouts. This app has some delicious-looking healthy recipes, which I want to try out also. Now you got my attention. I love your cooking. So, I am in. I get food out of the deal. You always do, honey. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Hi, it's been a while. The last time I saw you was when you started working at that online company. How's that going? It is going great, actually. I'm now the point person for the new payment method, which involves paw rating for payment in our stores. Wow, congratulations! That sounds high-tech, and it also sounds like a promotion, right? Thank you. I was promoted. 
I will be leading the company in its transition from cash and card payments to this new, more contemporary payment method. That is very interesting. So how does it work? Well, customers will first need to register their information with us. This will be done the same as if you are registering for a credit card. The additional step of collecting the palm scan will be implemented so that the information is connected to a customer's palm reading. That makes sense. How will the customer pay when they're inside the store? We have already installed new payment reading devices at our registers. These new devices can read a palm. This gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, give me five. That is so true. Now it means pay up. Yes. Why did your company decide to do it this way? To increase customer convenience. Have you ever forgotten your credit card at home and had to go back to get it? I sure have, and it was a big waste of time. Well, now all you need is your hand. That is awesome! Give me five. What? I went old school. Put your hand up and let's clap our palms together so that I can show you that I think you are cool. Your retro explanation is too funny. Thank you for the compliment. You bet. It was great seeing you. Thanks. You too. Hello! Are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. Hey, do you have a minute? I need some advice on something. Sure. What's up? Well, I have this problem where I can never seem to get enough sleep. I'm always tired, even when I get a full eight hours of sleep. Hmm, have you tried drinking more coffee? What? That's not helpful. I don't want to rely on caffeine to keep me awake. Okay, okay. Have you tried exercising more? Maybe you just need to burn off some energy. I do exercise regularly, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. I'm still always tired. Well, have you tried sleeping with a stuffed animal? Sometimes it can help to have something to cuddle with. What? No, I'm not going to sleep with a stuffed animal like a child. All right, all right. How about counting sheep? That's always been a classic method for falling asleep. Are you serious? That's just a silly old wives' tale. I need real advice here. Okay, fine. Have you tried taking a warm bath before bed? That can help relax your muscles and make you sleepy. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I might try that. See, I knew I could be helpful. Just remember to add some bubbles and maybe some candles for the full spa experience. <laughs> okay, I think I'll skip the candles, but thanks for the advice. Hey, how was your weekend? Do anything fun? Hey, it was good. I actually went to see a movie. We saw Sonic the Hedgehog 2 at the theater. Have you seen it? Oh, cool. No, I haven't seen that movie. 
I didn't even know they released a sequel. The first one was great. How was Sonic 2? Well, it was definitely better than the first one. Usually I don't like sequels, but this one was so funny. The actors were great, too. Jim Carrey is just so funny. He played Dr. Robotnik again? I'm glad they didn't change the actors. That drives me crazy when the same character is played by a new person. I'll have to go see it. Yeah, Jim Carrey plays the part so well. He's hilarious, too. He makes some jokes about mushrooms that are just too good. Dr. Robotnik drinking and spitting out mushroom coffee was just too rich. People actually love that stuff. It's like a health trend. <laughs> uh, I love mushroom coffee. It has a ton of health benefits. So Dr. Robotnik is still cast away to the Mushroom Planet in this movie? Yep, but he isn't there for long. Our Robotnik has a new sidekick named Knuckles. Their partnership doesn't last too long, though, but I don't want to give away the ending. Were there any new characters? Yeah, this two-tailed fox named Tails joins Sonic, too. Make sure you have a lot of time whenever you go to see it. It's over two hours long. That's really long for a movie. I hope I don't fall asleep. Oh, you won't. The movie has a ton of action. I think the animation makes it easier to make the movie exciting while the live actors make it relatable. There's a good storyline, but also some crazy, fantastical scenes. What was your favorite part? Definitely the snowboarding scene with an avalanche. It's so well done. Funny, but also has you on the edge of your seat. I really think you will like it. I can't wait to hear what you think. Hey, Chris. What's up, man? Hi, dude. I'm great. How about yourself? Sam, I'm doing wonderful. Did you ever get around to cooking that dish I told you about? I did, but it was not what I thought it should be. Can you please tell me how to make it again? I sure can. Awesome! First, you need to saute the chicken till it is golden brown and cooked throughout. Then, set the meat on a separate plate. Next, saute the onions, peppers, garlic, and tomatoes. When the veggies are done, you can add the sauteed chicken back into the pan. Finally, you will need to add in the seasoning that you like. Oops, I cooked the vegetables first when I tried it. They burned before I got to step two. Now that you mention it again, I see the veggies are not step one. One question. Why did the veggies burn? Are you using a low flame when cooking them? I cooked them over a high flame. Next time, try a low flame for the veggies and a medium flame for the meat. You sure do know how to cook. I hope that I could cook like you one day. You'll get it. I didn't know how to cook when I first started, but now that I have practiced, I do. I do have another issue. 
my rice is another problem. It always comes out sticky. Do you have any pointers for me and my sticky rice? Try this. First, you need to boil the rice without the lid till the water is white. After that, you will need to rinse the rice and drain it. Then, you will need to add clear water into the pot covering the rice slightly. Finally, you will cook it on a low flame with the lid on the pot. Do I need to add in any seasoning? Yes, but don't add the seasoning till the very end. I usually just add salt and butter to my rice. This recipe makes amazing rice. Please let me know how it tastes when you try it out. You rock, bro! When I get it down, I'll invite you over for dinner. Thanks. I can't wait. I will bring a dessert. Yes, please do. I'll not try that course of the meal yet. First, I will perfect my skills on the main course, and then I'll try making desserts later. Take your time. Cooking tastes better when you do it at your own pace. You can practice English whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Hey, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I love to collect antique spoons. Antique spoons? Really? That's quite unique. Yeah, I know it's a bit odd, but it's my passion. I have over 500 spoons from all around the world. Wow, that's impressive. I don't think I've ever met someone who collects spoons. Well, it's not as exciting as skydiving or bungee jumping, but it's a hobby that keeps me grounded. <laughs> Pun intended, I guess. So what's your favorite spoon in your collection? Oh, that's a tough one. But if I had to choose, it would be this tiny spoon I found in an old market in Morocco. It's only about an inch long, but it's so intricate and beautiful. Wow, that sounds amazing. I might have to start a spoon collection of my own. Be careful. It's a slippery slope. Next thing you know, you'll be buying spoons at every flea market and garage sale. I'll make sure to bring a spoon with me everywhere I go, just in case I come across a rare find. Just be prepared for people to think you're a little spoony. <laughs> that was terrible, but I laughed. I'll stick to collecting something less spontaneous. Hey, what do you like to do in your free time? I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theorist? Really? That's quite the change of pace from the usual hobbies I hear about. Yeah, I know it might sound a bit crazy, but I find it very intriguing and fascinating. I can imagine. It's not something I've ever tried myself. So, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Well, I love all conspiracy theories, but my favorite one is the theory that the moon landing was faked. The moon landing was faked? 
That's quite the claim. So do you have any evidence to support your theory? Oh, I have plenty of evidence. Like the fact that the American flag is waving in the wind on the moon. And the shadows in the footage don't match up. And also, there are no stars in the background of the footage, which is highly unusual. I see. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. So have you ever uncovered any secret government cover-ups or anything like that? Well, I once found out that the recipe for Coca-Cola is actually a closely guarded secret. And I also discovered that the Tooth Fairy is actually a group of retired dentists. And also I have uncovered a secret government project that involves building underground bases on Mars. Wow, that's really interesting. You have certainly done your research. But do you think that everything is a conspiracy? Well, not everything. But it's always important to keep an open mind and question things. You never know what you might discover. That's a good point. I'll have to keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing your hobby with me. No problem. It's always good to have someone to talk to about my theories. You never know. I might convince you to become a conspiracy theorist, too. Hi, Beth. How was your trip? It was amazing. Thank you for asking. Didn't you go to the beach? Yes, I did. I also went to the mountains and a busy city. Wow! That sounds neat. Where did you go? I went to Thailand. I have not been there yet. How were the people? They were the nicest. I have a funny story to tell you about my trip. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. You know how they drive on the opposite side of the road there? No, I didn't know that. Well, I was driving down the wrong side of the street. A police officer pulled me over. My heart was racing and I was crying. What happened next? He thanked me for visiting. What? Yes. Then he stopped traffic, gave me directions, and he even gave me a mint. I am shocked. It was amazing. I thanked him so much. I think people in Thailand really like visitors coming to their country. It sure does sound like it. The policeman was very hospitable. Yes, of course. I want to go there again. I want to visit also. Thailand sounds like a wonderful place to visit. It is. The prices aren't too expensive. They even have a nighttime outdoor shopping mall called Night Bazaar. Beach, city, or mountains by day and shopping at night? And the police officer gave you mints? This is my kind of place. It is mine, too. <music> Hi.
Hello, how are you, Timmy? Hello, teacher. I'm great. How are you? I'm great too, Timmy. Did you see something interesting in the news or on TV this week? Yes. Nice, Timmy. What did you see? I saw that the weather's not normal. Timmy, are you talking about global warming? Yes, teacher. The news said global warming. What is global warming? Global warming is when our planet heats up. The heat makes the ice caps melt, and then the sea levels rise. An onset of extreme weather phenomena occurs. Why does this happen? Global warming is caused by the pollution from cars, factories, people, and animals. You are right, teacher. This is what I saw in the news. It is scary.、Uh, will we be okay? Yes, dear Timmy. We sure will. The news talks about global warming often because it's so important. People can do so many things to help slow down the effects of global warming. What can I do? You can be a planet hero and help save our planet. I want to be a planet hero, so please tell me more. You can turn off any lights, electrical devices, and water when they are not in use. I do that already. You can walk places instead of driving, so long as it is near your home and your mommy says yes first, of course. I walk to school. You're a hero already, Timmy. I think my mommy wants to be a hero too. What can she do? She can recycle, cut back on beef products, and buy environmentally safe products. I made a list for her. Timmy, your mommy will be so proud of you. I sure am. Listen to the lessons repeatedly to think in English and automatic speaking. Repetition is very, very important to become fluent. You need to speak English fluently without translating in your head. The words should come out of your mouth automatically. So this is where the repetition comes in. If you repeat the same vocabulary and sentences many times. You will become a master of this vocabulary and grammar. So you will be able to use that words automatically, without thinking about grammar rules and without translating vocabulary in your head. In order to think in English, you must repeat vocabulary and sentences as much as you can. After lots of repetition. Eventually, you will start to think English in your head and improve your speaking skills. You can practice English whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast.